Bubble Brain! I'm Caillou. It was a beautiful sunny day outside, but Caillou was having lots of fun with Clementine indoors. They were playing a new computer game called Dig and Build. Nice one, Clementine! You carry on building the base while I go into the forest and find us some more wood. Okay, Caillou, but be careful. The forest is full of giant spiders. Caillou, what are you doing sitting inside? I told you to stop playing that video game ages ago. We can't stop now, Mommy. It'll be dark soon and we have to get the base ready before the monsters come. You and Clementine have been playing inside all morning. It's a beautiful day. You should be outside playing in the garden. Just five more minutes, please. Yeah, please. No, that's enough. Turn it off now. OK, I did warn you. Mommy, we weren't finished yet. That was your last chance, Caillou. You're grounded. No more video games today. You have to go outside and help Daddy and I with the chores. But, Mommy... Come on, off you go outside. Otherwise, it'll be no more video games tomorrow, either. Caillou was very grumpy. He didn't want to go outside. He wanted to play more of his video game. What are we supposed to do out here? Well, you can start by helping Daddy. He's been raking up all the leaves and sticks from the lawn. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Caillou. What's the matter? Mommy turned off our video game. She said we have to come and do chores outside. Well, she's right, Caillou. Video games are lots of fun, but playing them too much isn't good for you. I know. Why don't you help me finish collecting these leaves, and then we can play a game. Deal? Okay, I guess. Hey, Clementine! Look at this! Wow! It's just like Dig and Build! You're right! We can finish building our base after all! There we go! Now we each have a pickaxe, a spade, and an axe! Perfect! Now we can start to collect some materials to build our base. It'll be nighttime soon, so we'll have to be quick. Good idea! Let's go and collect some stones first. I think I saw some over there. Great, let's go. You were right, Caillou. There's loads of stones here. Caillou and Clementine collected the stone using the pickaxes they had crafted. My bag's almost full. We should head back to base and start building. There, that looks awesome. Now we'll need to make some walls and a door. Let's go and gather some more wood and sticks. Great idea! We can get some from that tree over there. Caillou and Clementine used the axes they had crafted to gather the wood from the tree. Hey, where did my rake go? <laughs> wow, I thought Caillou would still be grumpy. But it looks like they're having lots of fun doing the chores. There! That should be plenty! Quick, let's go and finish the base! It's starting to get dark! Phew! We did it! Yeah, and just in time! Let's get inside! We can build some more in the morning when it's safe! What an awesome base we've built! I know, it's better than our video game base. <gasps> oh, what was that? Don't worry, nothing will be able to get us while we're in here. <gasps> oh no, we left the front door open. Close it, quick. Yeah. Uh, uh, a monster. Hurry, Caillou, we'll have to use the secret exit to escape. Trap! 
stopped! No! Meow! Gilbert! It was you all along! Great job, guys! You've tidied up the whole garden! No, we didn't! We were playing dig and build! We just finished building our base when a monster attacked us! Luckily, it turned out to be Gilbert. My goodness! Well, all these adventures must have made you both hungry. How about we go inside and I can make you a snack? We can't! We have to make some adjustments to our base. Yeah! What if we get attacked by a real monster next time? Caillou loved playing his video game with Clementine. But building a real base outside was much more fun. Explorer Caillou and his friends were on a rescue mission to save Teddy. She's getting away! Faster, guys! Caillou, no catch Rosie! Rosie, too fast! Leo was struggling to keep his dinosaur under control. How do you steer these things? You guys look like you've got yourself in quite a tangle there. What have you been up to? Cave girl Rosie has stolen Teddy. We are trying to catch her on our pet dinosaurs and save Teddy. Well, that does sound like quite the adventure, kids. You better get back to it. Sarah and Clementine wanted to catch up with cave girl Rosie to save Teddy. But they knew they had to think of a plan. I can see her going over the mountain, past the clearing to the north. Maybe that's where her cave is. Nice spot, Clem. Let's draw out the island and we can figure out the best way to get to the cave. We're here. And the cave girl has escaped back to her cave on the other side of the mountain. To get there, we need to pass the quicksand lake and the river. We don't have to ride the dinosaurs again, do we? I think we should go on foot so we can sneak up and catch Ro- I mean, the cave girl. Let's go! The team of explorers came across some quicksand. Caillou thought this was going to be tricky, but Clementine had an idea. Then they crossed a river, which was very wide and very deep. Sarah spotted some stepping stones they could use to safely cross. and his explorer friends had finally arrived. They were so close to finishing their rescue mission. Cave girl Rosie was fast asleep, snuggled up to Teddy by the campfire of her cave. There she is! And there is Teddy! We need to move in slowly and quietly. We don't want to wake her. Leo! Leo, wait! Ah! 
I got him! Guys, I saved Teddy! Ah! <laughs> That's not good. Look! Teddy! <laughs> Caillou and his explorer friends rode through the jungle trying to get back home safe. Over the mountain, through the river, and across the quicksand. But the Gilbertosaurus Rex wouldn't stop chasing them. Then, Leo had an idea. You did it, Leo! The team of explorers had saved the day and rescued Teddy. It was time for them to rest up before their next adventure. Caillou was chasing Leo round the jungle gym. They were pirates, and Leo had stolen his <laughs> ship. Caillou was determined to get it back. <laughs> Arr! You can run, but you can't hide! It was show and tell at school. Caillou was excited, but nervous to speak in front of his class. Okay, Caillou, ready when you are. What have you got to show us today? <laughs> This rope was my grandpa's. He gave it to me for my birthday. <sighs> he loves to fish. At weekends, he takes me with him and we catch all kinds. <gasps> Careful, Caillou. Don't go overboard. If you want to catch a fish, you need three things. A rod, some bait, and a strong knot. And some patience. What's that? <laughs> it's waiting even when you don't want to. Now, what you want to do is have a strong knot so that the bait doesn't fall away or get bitten off by the fish you're trying to catch. All we need to do now is wait. Once Caillou had thought back to those fun weekends, he stopped feeling so scared. He taught me how to fish, how to put a worm on the line, even how to steer the boat. And best of all, he showed me how to tie this cool knot. Oh! See, you pass the end over itself like this then under and around the standing end, like this. It's called a figure eight. Real sailors use it for all kinds of things. That was excellent, Caillou. I think we all learned something. That was awesome. Thanks. At recess, I'll show you how to... Caillou, listen up. I want to go outside and show Leo my figure eight. Well, you need to be patient. You might learn something new. My daddy took me sailing this summer. He bought me this model sailing boat so that I can always remember. <gasps> if you want to go slow, you need to pull the sail out like this. And when you want to go really, really fast, you need the wind to hit the sail right here. One day, I'm going to sail around the whole world. That was just excellent, class. See, Caillou? There's always something new to learn, and anyone can be a great teacher. Now, 
Recess! All the kids were out playing in the sunshine. Mrs. Martin looked around, smiling. As she looked, she spotted Caillou and Jessie in a shaded corner by the jungle gym. A storm's coming, Jessie! We need to get out of here! We need to move fast! Push that sail out, Caillou! Mrs. Martin had no doubt about what game they were playing as Caillou and Jessie sailed their model boat through the air. Caillou and Rosie had spent the whole morning shopping for groceries with Mommy and Daddy. So as a special treat, they had taken them to the toy store to buy one toy each to take home. Wow! Look how many toys there are, Rosie! Toys! Toys! Remember, just one toy each, okay? Look! Squishy balls! They just look like regular balls. What's so special about them? They're really cool! When you squeeze them, they change color, but you never know which color you're going to get! Yellow one! I want yellow one! Caillou could see that Rosie was still too little to reach the squishy balls by herself. Here you go, Rosie! Say thank you, Rosie. Thank you! Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, squeeze! Wow, you were right, Caillou. They do change color. Is this the toy you want, Caillou? Caillou thought that the squishy balls were really fun, but he wanted to look at some other toys before he made up his mind. Maybe we should look around a bit more first. There might be something better over there. Caillou could see a girl playing with a toy he'd never seen before. Hi! What's that toy you're playing with? It's a fidget spinner. You hold it between your fingers and spin it. Once it's spinning, you can do cool tricks, like balance it on the end of your finger. Here, you try. Caillou took hold of the fidget spinner and spun it between his fingers. He could hear it making a little whizzing sound. Great! Now, try to balance it on one finger. Looks like you need some practice. Never mind, Caillou. Let's try again. Ready? I'm going to let go now. I'm doing it, Mommy! Look how it spins! It's like an airplane! Great job, Caillou! Caillou, come and look at this! It's a spaghetti-making machine. First, we have to choose a color for the spaghetti. But I thought spaghetti was always brown. This is special spaghetti. It can be any color we like. Caillou had never heard of different colored spaghetti before. Wow! Even blue? Of course! Yellow! Yellow! Thank you, Rosie. Now we can have multicolored spaghetti for dinner. Caillou watched as Daddy placed the blue and yellow dough inside the spaghetti machine. It's ready. All you have to do is press down on that lever. It looks delicious! <laughs> Sorry, Caillou. It's not real spaghetti. It's just for playing with. <laughs> What's the point of spaghetti if we can't eat it? Whoa! Did you see that? Hi there. I'm Jessie. Hi! I'm Caillou. I was trying to catch that truck, but it was too fast. Oh, you were very close. I almost crashed trying to escape you. So you were driving it. Can you teach me? You make the truck go forward by holding down that button there. And you turn it with those buttons there. Great job, but be careful. 
If you go too fast, it might crash. Whoops! I'm sorry. That's okay. You almost had it. I can help you. There you are, Caillou. You shouldn't run off like that. We didn't know where you were. Sorry. I was learning to drive the truck, but I crashed. Well, at least you're helping clean up the mess you made. Caillou could hear something rattling around inside the eggs. Hey! There's something in there! What is it? It's a surprise. Each egg has a different toy inside. And sometimes it even has sweets and stickers. Caillou thought that the surprise egg sounded amazing. Mommy, I want a surprise egg! <laughs> Good choice. I think Rosie has decided too. Okay, here I go! What surprise did you get, Caillou? I got some colorful sweets, some smiley stickers, and a toy truck! Amazing! Caillou was very happy with his surprise egg. Now he could practice driving at home. Caillou was very worried because he had lost his favorite toy car. He looked under the couch, on top of the coffee table, and even behind the TV. What are you looking for, Caillou? I'm looking for my toy car, but I can't find it anywhere. Hey, you found our old camera. Oh no, did I break it? No, Caillou, it's meant to do that. It's all dark! Just watch. Caillou watched as the photo changed. It wasn't dark after all. It was a picture of himself. Wow! Like magic! Can we take some more pictures, Mommy? Of course, Caillou. How about you take some pictures of things with different colors? I can do that! Let's start with something red. Caillou looked around the room and saw his red fire truck sitting on the carpet. There! My fire truck is red! Perfect! You can look through that little hole to see what your picture will look like. Caillou could see his red fire truck through the hole in the camera. I did it, Mommy! Look! It's my red fire truck! Great job, Caillou! How about we try something green next? Hmm, green. There's lots of green things in the garden! In the garden, Caillou could see all kinds of green things. Look, Caillou! Why don't you take a picture of this green grasshopper? Caillou tried to take a picture of the grasshopper, but it jumped away into the grass when he got close. Hey! Come back! You have to move slowly, Caillou. The grasshopper won't stay still otherwise. Mommy, I was really slow and quiet. <laughs> wow! Look at all its legs! Great job again, Caillou. Do you think you could find something blue to take a picture of? Something blue. Oh, I know! Rosie's dress is blue. I could take a picture of Rosie. Caillou found Rosie in the living room with Daddy. She was playing with his toy car. Hey, Rosie! You found my toy car! Vroom, vroom! 
smile, Rosie. I've got to take your picture. Look, Rosie. Magic! Again! Is that our old camera, Caillou? Yes. Mommy and me have been taking pictures of colors. That sounds fun. How about we take a picture of all of us sitting on the couch? But who will take the picture? It has a special timer. We can set it up on the table, and it will take the picture after a few seconds. Here, let me show you. Okay, everyone on the couch, quick! Say cheese, everyone! Cheese! Caillou had loved taking pictures with the camera, but looking at them magically appear was his favorite part. <laughs>